everybody welcome back to my channel so today i just wanted to hop on here real quick and show you my first official plant swap items that i got i actually previously recorded this video i don't know what happened um but i've done another one so this is going to be based on two swaps so i'm just going to put it all together here and show you what i got so let's go ahead and jump right in so over here i have basically a little propagation station and this is not a part of it i'll move that this right here is one of the first items that i got in the swap it's a marble queen pothos has two nice sized leaves and has a little third opening as you can see it already has a little bit of rooting i've had these for i want to say going on two weeks and if you're interested this container here this is just an old glass bottle an old uh, liquor bottle and i wrapped some jute twine around it and i think it looks really cute so this is the first item that i got secondly back here now the original swap was for this little cluster these smaller ones you see of cebu blue i've since found a huge plant and so these larger ones you see i actually added from my mama plant over there but i did get these cluster of these three smaller Cebu blue leaves in the swap as well. So I'm very happy with that. And it was so funny after I did that swap, I ended up finding this plant at Walmart. So I was excited to have that. Um, move this guy, what else did I get as a part of that swap? I also got right here, these, um, what do you call them? Neon Pothos. And it's funny because the same day that I found this Cebu Blue, there was also another equally big Neon Pothos. And I was trying to be frugal, so I didn't get either one of them. And I realized I had lost my mind, so I went back to get the Cebu and the Neon was gone. So anyhow, these are my Neon Pothos cuttings. Um, Let's see, I've moved everything around, so I'm trying to remember everything I got in that trade oh i did get two pothos enjoy clippings one of them didn't make it the other one is um in the kitchen near my window um so i do have one leaf of that and then i'm gonna bring it over here and i also got and this is my favorite part of that swap these two monstera and sony eye leaves so I did put them in soil because I was nervous about um, the pothos enjoy. They basically, the roots, the, the stem started to rot and I was surprised because I've propagated pothos previously with no issues in water. And so I just wanted to put these in the soil and hopefully that will give them the best chance to root up. Um, but I'm sure they should be fine. I did this with my other monstera cutting that i took from my main plant i just stuck it right in soil and it rooted up pretty fast so there's that and i'm hoping that that does the same so that just sits up there by my ray dunn and my turtle and then also last but not least this here that i am so excuse my messy kitchen table that i am so so trying to get the camera angle right for you guys i'm so excited about this this is as you can see a hoya compacta but it is the loana um version because as you can see it's variegated but as opposed to the variegations being on the ends you see the variegation is in the center so i am over the moon excited about this plant i've been wanting um this plant for a long while i almost got one i came across someone who had one um it was literally just the size of this small piece here and it was 20 dollars plus shipping it was variegated but it was not the reverse variegation like this flash forward to um you know a little plant friend i've made on instagram she was actually out at her local home depot or lowe's i can't remember which one and she found a full basket of this and it was so funny because she was saying how she was on a plant shopping ban, but she just had to get it. So I'm glad she did because then we were able to do a swap. I got this and she got my some of my string of dolphins as well as my micans. So 
super excited about this. It's just so pretty and I'm very happy to have it. Like I said, I've been for months, I've been, um, I've been looking for one of these, but hopefully I may find luck up and find my own full basket. Um, but who knows if not, I'm very happy with this and I'm glad to have been able to swap for it. So I just put her right there next to my other Hoyas. Um, these are the only Hoyas that I have. I have the Crimson Queen, which I bought as a clipping, which as you can see is putting out new leaves. So it's doing very well. And then I have the Woyeti here, which was also a clipping. It was much fuller, but I actually used this guy as a part of the other plant swap that I just talked about. So I clipped off one of um, the stems because otherwise this one was also much fuller as well. And since we're here, these Manjula Pothos clippings I got a while ago. It's been at least, I'd say, a couple of months. I actually bought them on Mercari. You can go back and check out that video um, where I talk about plant shopping online. And for the longest time, they didn't do anything. And now they're finally starting to take off. So I'm happy about that. So yes, this is the result of my first and second plant swap. Um, it went really well, I would say. Uh, the one was local, so we did an in-person pickup, which was cool. Um, and then I'm trying to think what little tips I can tell you. Um, as far as, you know, swapping in person and with anything you do, you don't know the person, so you want to make sure, obviously, you meet up in a public location, it's during the day, somebody knows where you are, all of those things. The girl I swapped with, she was actually really nice. She was actually kind of young. She was with her mom. Um, she might have been like in high school or something, I don't know, but it went really well. Um, I had, you know, felt comfortable about it, had a good feeling about it just from talking to her um, back and forth first in the Facebook group. So you want to just make sure you actually speak into the person, um, you know, take a look at their profile, make sure it actually looks like a real profile, that you're getting getting responses back to your questions that are not like one and two words, that are actually, you know, make you feel like you're talking to a person. So uh, I would say to definitely do that. As far as by the mail, that's a little more tricky because it is your address. If you have a P.O. box, I mean, then you're golden. You don't have to worry about it. But as far as with the mail, I felt comfortable with this person because you know i have been seeing her instagram for a while she posted pictures she also posted stories so you can actually see her in her space talking and you know you just go off of that and you're feeling off of everything you're still taking a chance but i felt comfortable enough that i would give it a go and you know sure enough it worked out well we each you know paid our respective shipping and then we swapped tracking numbers with each other and that was pretty much it so i guess if i have to get some tips on swapping is you know make sure you're comfortable with what you're swapping make sure you know you're confident that the person is actually going to follow through with it and if you are um purchasing from someone uh, whereas so with the swap i did in the mail i just you know put put the package in the mail i paid the shipping which was like five five dollars and thirty cents vice versa she put my plant in the mail and pay the shipping five dollars thirty cents so we're you know equivalent there if you're sending somebody money then i would suggest doing it paypal but make sure you do paypal goods and services a lot of times people will ask you to do paypal friends and family which is just equivalent of you just sending somebody money the goods and services denotes that i'm giving you money for you know an actual good or an actual service so that way if you don't get that good or service you can have your money returned to you via paypal so that's just important to keep in mind i've seen you know going through the groups some people have been having issues you know with people taking the money and not you know withholding their end of the deal so you want to make sure that you do paypal goods and services now if you have somebody that you you know you trust you feel comfortable with um and they want you to send it friends and family. A lot of people feel like they don't want the goods and service thing because I think they take out a percentage, um, it's like a fee. And then also I've heard people say something to do with like tax time or whatever and like filing that as income or something. I don't know. Um, but if it's somebody 
that you're certainly comfortable with, then you can go ahead and do that. I did find somebody on Instagram who was um, giving away clippings from her Pothos, uh, what is it called? Marble Queen. And, you know, she posted it. She was like, if anybody wants it, it's yours. You just have to pay shipping. So she wanted it to be sent as a friend. It was $7. Um, once again, you know, I have been following her Instagram, seeing her actually active on there. So I took a chance, you know, of feeling fairly comfortable. And my rationale was, well, you know, it's $7. So if it doesn't work, then that's a lesson learned for me. So I did send it to her. Uh, friends and family and she mailed it out and sent me tracking right away so you just have to pay attention to who you're dealing with it's like with anything I know it's plants and it might sound a little crazy to you know be worried about all of those things but it's just like purchasing anything offline through marketplace or anything like that you just want to make sure that you follow your proper procedures so thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed seeing the results of my first plant swaps. I'm so excited. I'm definitely looking forward to doing more. I think it's an awesome way to get different plants without actually spending any money. So I am very happy about that. And as always, thank you for watching. Please comment down below. Let me know what plants you've swapped. Um, have you done plant swaps in person or online? in through the mail how did it work out for you all that good stuff don't forget to subscribe so you can see my newest coming videos i'm going to be putting out a lot more often just some different things related to my plants and diy projects so you don't want to miss that and then also share this video i'll see you guys next time bye